have us a new gadget. Uh, we love gadgets. And the boot is a geocaching gadget. What more can you ask for? Yeah. What we have here today is the Magellan Tough Case. Uh, it's supposed to add a GPS functionality as well as an extra battery in a case to protect your iPod Touch or iPhone 3G or 3GS. Um, we found it on special for $100. Uh, it is regularly $180, uh, but we figured if you can find it on special for $180, uh, adding GPS uh, functionality to something that somebody may already have uh, would be a pretty good deal. And that tough case, uh, take it from somebody that has broken a couple of iPods, that's a wonderful idea. What you have here is, uh, what it comes with is you do see this flip case. Uh, you slip your iPod in here, or iPhone, and you slip it in there. Put the cover down, snap the two sides, and uh, you're good to go. Um, other than that, it does come with a nice belt clip, which you slide on. And we got a nice belt clip. I like the way it, that it latches on it. So many of them have a spring action that if you, you, know, you wiggle the wrong way, you'll slide right off your belt. This one really catches you well. If you are using an iPod Touch, they do provide a sleeve. Uh, you just put it on your iPod Touch, like so, and then you can slip it inside the tough case. Uh, before putting in your iPod Touch, there is a switch on the inside that you got to turn on to actually turn on the main unit. Once the iPod is in place, then you, uh, you there's a power button on top and here on the left for an iPod Touch. If you're using an iPhone, the power button is on, on the top right. And uh, to turn on the main unit, there's a button down here. You press it once, uh, you get the light show up. And that one light tells you that's on. You press it again to uh, turn on the GPS. So now we, uh, we can take this out into the field and go find a geocache. Then you press it again to, uh, to get the red lights, and it turns off. This button on the left will give you your battery indicator. One, okay. <laughs> one, one thing I really do like, since we're talking about the battery indicator, is it does provide, they do provide a standard USB to mini USB plug to charge us up. Uh, so many things these days have a proprietary USB plug. Uh, it's nice to see that they do provide a, a non-proprietary standard USB plug to charge up. And what I was so eager to interrupt with is the apps that are available that are linked to a GPS. And, and on the iPhone, I have heard incredible things about them. But if you are not a fan of the carrier for that phone, uh, we've been deprived up until now, it looks like. Yeah, you could, you, uh, as far as we know, we could use this with geocaching with Geosphere, MotionX GPS, uh, the Where I Go platform with Pygo. Um, there's probably a whole host of things out there you can use to put on here. Not to mention uh, astronomy. So you'd be able to hold it up to the sky and uh, see what your uh, stars you're looking at and identify them, get all the information. Uh, this is really exciting. Well, what do you say we go out and try and find a cache with this? You're on! Uh, it just seems to stop functioning. It seems to yeah. when I get below uh, when I get to walking speed, it just seems to stop transmitting data. Yeah, right now the arrow is pointing the exact opposite of yeah. mine. Huh. Hmm. Number one. Well, let's just follow yours. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, 77, and we're right. okay. Uh, I'm still seeing uh, 174 on the Magellan. And point in the other direction. There's definitely not agreement. Yeah. Well, 
we tried. We, uh, what do you think? Well, f uh, for its design, you know, it's supposed to protect the iPod, and I think it does a really good job of that. Uh, you know, in the time that we've had this, you know, I dropped it uh, a couple times. You know, it is kind of big. It's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, dropping it is almost an inevitability. Yeah. Um, but as for the GPS and geocaching, it doesn't seem to track uh, when you're walking. Yeah, it does fine when you're driving, mm -hmm. but as soon as you get to below speed, you get to walking, it stops sending information to you or whatever. Yeah, and, well, and what about the charging? I mean, we had that thing on all uh, night long, and it's still only got three bars. And it's supposed to charge within four hours. Yeah, so uh, that was going to be a real headache, especially out in the field where you need to recharge in a hurry when you go out the wrong time. Uh, and then at that price, uh, without a navigational you know, software with it, that's you're getting up where you can get a regular unit. And yeah, this, this thing lists as $180. Mm -hmm. and you, you can go to uh, a major electronics store and get a GP, uh, navigation GPS for your car for about 100 bucks. And I wanted to use it for some things like the astronomy programs, and it is too sluggish and too uh, inaccurate. Uh, uh, we already tried it uh, on uh, some of the apps, and uh, it just does not function as uh, it should. So, what are you, your final thoughts on it then? My thought is somebody had a really great idea, but the engineers putting it together didn't follow through. Uh, it wouldn't take a whole lot of tweaks to make this thing a really great item, uh, but uh, for me right now, I'm sending it back.